Jawless fish form an ancient group of vertebrates encompassing a diverse range of extinct groups. Today, there are only two small groups, the lampreys and the hagfish. They are considered to be the most primitive living vertebrates, although scientific discussion continues over their exact relationships. Hagfish and lampreys look similar, with elongated bodies and jawless mouths, but the two groups evolved along separate lines. Lampreys live in freshwater and temperate coastal waters throughout the world and coastal species swim up rivers to breed. Hagfish are exclusively marine. At first glance, lampreys and hagfish could easily be mistaken for eels due to their long, thin bodies and slimy, scaleless skin. However, they lack a bony skeleton, and have only a simple flexible rod called a notochord running along the length of the body. In lampreys, the mouth is in the center of a round oral disc armed with small, rasping teeth. Hagfish have a slit-like mouth surrounded by fleshy barbels on the outside and by tooth plates on the inside. The gills in both groups open to the outside through small, round pores behind the head, and there is a single nostril on top of the head. Coastal lampreys migrate from the sea into rivers and move upstream to spawn. Females excavate a nest in gravel and lay thousands of tiny white eggs, which hatch into worm-like larvae called amokoids. These small creatures have a horseshoe-shaped mouth without teeth. They live in muddy tunnels for several years, filter feeding on debris, then transform into adults and swim out to sea. Hagfish lay a few large eggs on the seabed, and these hatch into miniature adults. While many freshwater species are parasitic or feed on small invertebrates marine lampreys are all parasites, attacking both bony and cartilaginous fish. They attach to their living host using the teeth and lips of their oral disc to suck onto their victim. Teeth in the mouth are then used to rasp a hole in the fish, and its flesh, blood, and body fluids are all consumed. Sometimes lampreys cause the death of their host through blood loss or tissue damage. In contrast, hagfish are mostly scavengers that feed on dead fish and whale carcasses, as well as live in vertebrates. They can gain leverage to tear off chunks of meat by literally tying themselves in a knot and using the knot to brace themselves against the carcass. With its long, cylindrical body, the sea lamprey might at first be mistaken for an eel, but closer inspection reveals differences. Unlike eels, the sea lamprey has no jaws. Its body is fattened toward the tail and it has two dorsal fins. Its circular mouth lies beneath the head, and is surrounded by a frill of tiny skin extensions. Inside the mouth, the teeth are arranged in numerous concentric arcs, which helps to distinguish it from the similar, but smaller, lamprey. As a mature adult, the sea lamprey has dark mottling on its back. Adults live at sea and feed on dead or netted fish as well as attacking a wide variety of live ones. It uses a sucker to attach to its host, scrapes a hole through the skin, and sucks out flesh and fluids. It spawns in rivers and the larvae remain in fresh water for about five years before they mature and move out to sea. This species is now rare as a result of trapping, intentional poisoning, and the degradation of its river habitat. This extraordinary fish can literally tie itself in knots and it does so regularly as a means of ridding itself of excess slime. Special slime exuding pores run along both sides of the eel-like body, enabling it to produce sufficient slime to fill a bucket in a matter of minutes. The glutinous slime is usually more than adequate to deter most predators. Like all jawless fish, the hagfish has no bony skeleton but simply a supporting rod, called a notochord, allowing it great flexibility. Fleshy barbels surround its slit-like, jawless mouth and it has only rudimentary eyes. There is a single pair of ventral gill openings about a third of the way along the body. The hagfish spends most of its time buried in mud with only the tip of the head showing. It mainly eats crustaceans but will delve into whale carcasses to scavenge. The hagfish is latched onto a carcass with its mouth, it forms a knot near its tail, then slides the knot forward in order to provide itself with sufficient leverage to tear its mouth away along with a chunk. 